realize they're bell sleeves and like like what how do you operate with these like hello and welcome back to my channel today we are doing yet another thrifting haul so I'm going to check out two op shops today they're known as op shops here in Australia uh, thrift shops pretty much everywhere else and we're gonna go and thrift and see what we can find and then I'll come back and show you what I got all right here we go my channel so if you've not been here before my name is Kavina and I am addicted to thrifting and hit two thrift stores today and I'm gonna be sharing uh, what I got with you and hopefully trying things on as I normally do but it is so cold it dropped like nearly 15 degrees it was like 19 yesterday and it's about like maybe zero or one degree right now and so I have put on this sweater um, which I do love, it's very pretty and happy, but I could not get out of my pajamas, so I have my pajamas on underneath with my pajama pants, because, um, though I am Canadian, if you can't tell from my accent, um, and I should be used to, like, minus 30 degrees Celsius winters, um, I've been living in Australia for, like, 10 years now, and anything below, like, 15 degrees is really cold to me now. Anything below 20, actually, is now cold to me, so, because I was wearing this, a few days ago and it was 100% 20 degrees outside so um, I prefer warm weather and when it is cold I'm a baby about it so I'm going to attempt to try these things on but I'm not gonna lie um, I'm cold and I don't want to <laughs> so um, I was just really thankful that in one of the changing rooms where I got one of the tops it had like a heater going on right above me in the change room so I was like oh and that was the only reason I tried it on I kid you not I was like no I can't do it I'm just going to spontaneously buy it, but luckily I did actually try it on and I loved it, and so we'll get to that. So, diving straight in, I got this very, very fleece-lined, it's so warm, um, leather, well, fake leather, I assume, uh, jacket at one of the thrift stores. So, like, this is the outside uh, material, and then it's fleece-lined all the way, including the arms. I really pet peeve, I hate when the arms aren't lined, because that's the part that I care about the most. <laughs> And so that was $10 from Vinny's, and um, it's just, it's so cute. Um, I'll attempt to, because I'm so reluctant to try things on, I'm going to attempt to try it on right now so that I don't have to get up and try it on later. And these 
like, so there's nothing wrong with the coat. It's entirely a me problem right now. I got this sweater kind of, like, by accident. I didn't realize they were bell sleeves. And, like, like, what? Uh, how do you operate with these? Like, and so I only wear this sweater on weekends now because literally this won't fit into my suit jackets at work. I don't know how you're supposed to shove your arms into coats. Like, it's just a whole, it's a hot mess. And so, bell sleeves, cool in theory, not practically speaking. So, I'm going to attempt to shove my really giant bell sleeve arms into this jacket. Oof. It is a good jacket otherwise. It fits with all of my normal tops, but this sweater is ridiculous, which is why I've started wearing it as pajamas. <laughs> so, this is the sweater. And so, as you can see, it's just a really cute fit. Um, it's very, very fitted and nice and it's just so warm and so I love that and so this is my new um, jacket that I wear each day and perfect because it is so cold and perfect for this weather right now. So that's my new fleece line jacket for 10 bucks. Then um, so for those of you who have not been to my channel before, I'm very very weird and I can only wear uh, for winter stuff fleece lined type items or 100% polyester. So this is 100% polyester and because it's pretty hard to find 100% polyester um, pants, I own about five pairs of pants and four of them, I kid you not, four of them, a black, a blue, a beige pair and a maroon pair are all from Walmart in Canada because I happened to find 100% polyester pants and was like winning buy them all and so I have those <laughs> and so um, I don't often find pants but this trip I lucked out and found these pants that are nearly a hundred percent polyester um, close enough it's very hard to find 100% polyester pants uh, especially business pants and so I found these pants for eight dollars and they're Portman status so if you live here in Australia uh, I can tell you now that these pants would have been like 80 bucks in store and so, eight dollars, not bad, and they're like this like fun like textured material, um, and like this really really dark navy blue, uh, with the cute waist um, on the inside. So I'll show you what those look like on, but they are very fitted, fit perfectly, and especially for me because I'm only um, five feet tall, and I normally if I get pants I have to hem them and stuff like that, which I absolutely hate. Um, having to do because that's more money that I don't want to spend but these fit perfectly no hemming required so very very happy with that then I got these top shop pants so again bear in mind that I don't own a lot of pants and I'm not usually a pants person but I've just been stalking a lot of pictures on Pinterest being like hmm what if I put that outfit together and I just I was intrigued by these pants technically they could be like clown pants, but they're just nice. They are, they were $8 and they are top shop pants. And so I looked them up and these were probably at least 40 to 50 bucks new. And so again, they're mostly polyester, so they're so soft. I wish you guys had feel of vision because these are not typical pants. These, these look and feel like pajamas, which technically speaking with the fabric, like these could easily be like flannel pajama pants. But I promise they look, well, I mean, I can't promise. I think they look good and I plan on making it look cute with like a black knit sweater on top and like toning this all a little bit down, but they're cute. I like them. I'm going to try them and I'll try them on right now so you can see, but I don't know. Comment below what you think. Like, I mean, I'll definitely have to pair it with, I think, something quite muted on top to make it, you know, not flannel pajama look and look, make it look, you know, chic and classy. Um, I like them. They're polyester. They're very soft. Yay. Then I got this intriguing suit jacket. So um, I own too many suit jackets. I, I wear them every day and so I feel like I can justify buying them because I wear constantly black suit jackets but I have like these weird explanations of why I have all these suit jackets. I'm like, oh, well, this one has two buttons or this one, you know, like covers more higher up. So if I'm wearing like a more scandalous v-neck top, you know, I want a suit jacket that covers a little bit more if I have to go into court. I'm a lawyer, um, not 
a criminal <laughs> and I don't know how to make the distinction just in case and then um, I have like ones that have like gold zippers and then I need ones with like silver detail in case I'm wearing a silver outfit and so I have so many black jackets but this one there's a good reason I promise and so it's like this cool see-through back and then because of this like band here it's like stretchy and it cinches it in so it just makes it look like this really nice back and so because I obviously cannot describe that out loud and I just look like I'm showing you a very creepy image of myself I'm going to show you what that looks like on but basically when it's on you can't really tell as much that it's see-through it just looks like a cool um, chic back so I thought it'd be fun when I'm wearing like a more sparkly shirt to have it like shimmer through and so we shall see but eight dollars I like it it's comfortable and cute and that was forecast so also again expensive brand that would have been like at least 50 bucks in store um, and so if not more like this easily could have cost like a hunch bucks um, so there's that suit jacket and then I got this top from Seduce so it says um, $9 but it was 50% off so I got it for $4.50 and it's just kind of like this intriguing top like it's like super super long as you can tell so this could probably be like a very scandalous dress if I wanted it to be I don't um, but I'm gonna pair this with some black pants so you can see what it looks like on but basically it's just a very like chic top um, that like flows and I'll show you what it looks like on because I'm gonna start describing things that don't make sense and so um, as you can see on it's just a very different kind of draped fabric on each side of your hips and I just think that it's just I don't know, a, a chic thing to just wear um, with some black, like fitted black pants and um, nice stiletto heels and just look a little extra chic um, and a little bit different and yeah, there's that. Alright, then I got, last but not least, I got this from a Facebook uh, like clothing swap group that I'm in, so buy swell swap groups. Um, are really common here in Australia. I'm not sure if they're common in other places. I imagine they are. You probably have some sort of thing in your town where people, you know, buy and sell things um, through Facebook groups. And so ours is called Canberra Fashion Exchange. So I live in Canberra. It's fashion. We exchange it. And <laughs> so um, I found this girl who posted, um, I'll put the picture on the screen here, this picture of this dress. And I was just like, I don't even care what size that is, I'm going to buy it. Um, luckily it is my size. It's so beautiful. But the only thing is that this is, so this is what it looks like in real life in terms of the fabric. Um, it's, it's good, but the sparkles shed like nothing else. Like, like, I have to, like I'm holding it quite delicately right now because pretty much anywhere I touch it just showers sparkles. So I'm going to very gently unfold it a little. Oh, shimmer of waterfall of sparkles are happening here. All right, so as you can see from the picture, um, it is this beautiful um, like v-neck halter tie up top. Um, beautiful like gold sparkles. Like I said, they do shed so I'll have to be careful to stress. It is a little bit like the sparkles are a little bit itchy, like I don't know how to explain it, it's it's just not, uh, like it just feels like it's glued on, I don't know if that's the right explanation, but it's just, um, I'm very curious to see what it's going to be like on, and so I'll try that on for you guys now. Um, so I was a little bit um, worried about it being um, itchy, if it's itchy I'll give you a thumbs up, um, right, no actually I'll give you a thumbs down if it's itchy. Um, so. Thumbs down means it's itchy. Luckily the itchy part just seems to be on the outside, so hopefully it's not too bad when you put it on. Um, but yeah, it's a very cute dress, but it just kind of... The fabric bunches up all over, so um, we'll see how this goes in real life if I were to wear this out. Um, but I got this um, from Canberra Fashion Exchange for 25 bucks. I figured it'd just be a really lovely Friday night drinks dress, even though I have never gone to Friday night drinks in my life. So. I like the idea of dressing up, I just don't like the actual idea of going out because um, that involves effort and being cold. 
um, when I want to be in my warm pajamas. <laughs> so um, that is what I got for this haul. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you saw something you liked and if you do like seeing these kinds of thrifting videos and cheap shopping videos that's basically what I do on this channel so feel free to click that subscribe button if you want and like this video if you like this video. Alright and so thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!